In the midst of the challenges that our contemporary world presents, it's common for individuals to grapple with personal conflicts and seek a way to achieve inner peace, control over their emotions and wisdom. In this video, we embark on a journey to explore the Stoic philosophy, which provides valuable insights for navigating the complexities of life today. Instead of focusing solely on winning or losing, Stoicism encourages us to embrace the uncertainties of life, manage our emotions effectively, and face conflicts with grace and integrity. Ultimately, a Stoic individual is characterized not by physical strength, but by the strength of their character, which enables them to remain resolute in the face of any storm. Consider the example of Marcus Aurelius, a prominent historical figure who confronted formidable enemies on the battlefield. However, his most profound and enduring struggle was not against external foes, but an internal one an ongoing battle for personal character development and self-improvement. This highlights a fundamental Stoic belief that extends to all Stoics. The true conflict in life isn't about triumphing over others, but about becoming the best version of oneself. In this video, we will delve into seven key Stoic principles that empower individuals to confront and triumph over personal conflicts emphasizing the importance of self-improvement as the ultimate goal. Stoic Principle Number 1. Worry less about the opinions of others According to Stoic philosophy, nothing in life is inherently good or bad. It's all neutral. This perspective extends to the opinions of third parties. These opinions are, in essence, just that. Opinions. Stoics believe that you don't have to be emotionally invested in the opinions of others, even if those opinions are directed at you. Marcus Aurelius, a notable Stoic philosopher and leader, highlighted a crucial Stoic principle when he stated, Remember that all you hear is an opinion, not a fact. All you see is a perspective, not the truth. What he meant is that when you encounter external events or the opinions of others, it's not the event itself that causes you distress, but rather the meaning and significance you assign to it. In Stoicism, you are empowered to change your perspective because you have control over your mind, not the events or opinions themselves. This philosophical mindset places a Stoic at an advantage over someone who tends to be overly critical or emotional. By not allowing the opinions of others to trigger intense emotions within you, you can maintain a calm and composed attitude, effectively shielding yourself from the harmful effects of conflicts and external judgments. Stoic Principle Number 2. Don't take things personally. Marcus Aurelius emphasized this by saying, You don't have to turn this into something. It doesn't have to upset you. Things can't shape our decisions by themselves. This principle may appear passive, but it doesn't mean Stoics simply accept everything in life. Instead, they recognize the absurdity of seeking revenge. When someone wrongs a Stoic, they take a different path. As Seneca noted, one would think it's normal to kick back at a mule or bite a dog when they hurt us. When someone insults a Stoic, he pretends not to hear it. When someone says something offensive to a Stoic, he tells himself that if he gets angry, he is as guilty as they are. In essence, before taking something personally, Remind yourself that you don't have to form strong opinions about others' opinions, even when they concern you. Refraining from turning minor issues into major ones can save you significant time and prevent unnecessary conflicts. It's about choosing a more constructive and peaceful path when faced with adversity. Stoic Principle number 3. Be patient. Consider the challenges faced by ancient Stoic thinkers like Seneca, who served as an advisor to the erratic Emperor Nero and Marcus Aurelius, the first Roman emperor to confront fierce barbarian campaigns on the frontiers. Despite their incredibly difficult circumstances, they have left us with valuable advice, letters and consolations that teach us how to maintain serenity in the face of adversity. Their teachings ultimately lead to I Oya, a state of mental serenity that prevents negative emotions from taking control, enabling individuals to act with virtue. According to Stoic philosophy, 
It's the emotional reactions to challenging situations that distort our perception of reality. Our thoughts become entangled with feelings, making it challenging to distinguish facts from emotions. Practicing patience, as the Stoics advise, empowers us to keep a clear and serene state of mind even when facing challenging circumstances. This mental composure allows us to act in alignment with our deeply held principles and virtues. In essence, it means maintaining a sense of calm and rationality amidst difficulties, ensuring that our actions are guided by our highest values rather than impulsive emotions. This stoic practice helps us make more thoughtful and virtuous choices in the face of adversity. Stoic principle number four, be an example. Often, conflicts with others arise because we desire them to align with our own principles. However, this contradicts the fundamental stoic belief in accepting the nature of things without futile attempts to change them. Stoics also hold that the most effective way to influence the thoughts, attitudes and behaviors of others is through our own example. Marcus Aurelius encapsulated this idea when he said, don't waste time arguing what a good man should be. In other words, Stoics recognize that trying to force our principles onto others is often fruitless and counterproductive. Instead, they emphasize living in accordance with their own virtues as a means to inspire and influence those around them. Being an example of the values and principles you hold dear not only aligns with Stoic philosophy, but can also have a more profound impact on others than attempting to persuade them through argument. Number five, avoid anger. Anger is a natural emotion, but Stoicism teaches us that it's not necessarily a good or desirable response. This philosophy, often associated with thinkers like Marcus Aurelius, emphasizes that getting angry often causes more harm than good. Marcus Aurelius, in his work, Meditations, pointed out that the consequences of our anger and rage are often more damaging than the actions that triggered them. When we get angry, we might raise our voices or complain loudly, and in those moments, it might feel like we're letting off steam. However, it's essential to ask ourselves, does this anger actually solve the problem at hand? In most cases, the answer is no. Anger often clouds our judgment and impairs our ability to find effective solutions to the issues we face. Furthermore, Stoicism advises against engaging in arguments with rude individuals. Arguing with them not only fails to address the rudeness, but also provides them with an opportunity to display their discourtesy further. It's a lose-lose situation. Lastly, consider this. Getting angry because something like your car isn't working, won't magically fix the problem. In fact, it often makes matters worse. Stoicism encourages us to maintain composure and tackle challenges with a clear mind, as this is more likely to lead to constructive solutions. In summary, avoiding anger isn't about suppressing emotions, but recognizing that it's often counterproductive. Stoicism teaches us to respond to life's challenges with calmness and rationality, ultimately leading to better outcomes and less unnecessary turmoil. Stoic principle number six, ignore the haters. When Stoics encounter hatred or negative opinions from others, they follow a twofold approach. First, they ask themselves, is this opinion within my control? If there's a possibility of positively influencing or changing someone's opinion through conversation, actions, or providing more context and explanation, Stoics seize that opportunity. However, if it becomes evident that they cannot influence or change that person's viewpoint, Stoics accept that the individual is as they are. Stoic philosophy recognizes that hatred doesn't originate from external sources, but rather within the person who harbors it. When someone is genuinely unhappy with themselves and lacks confidence, they may direct hatred towards those who live virtuously. Envy often plays a significant role in this, as individuals who are deeply resentful and upset tend to be driven by envy. Hatred is, in essence, a manifestation of misery, and those who are truly unhappy seek to spread it to others. This aligns with the saying, misery loves company 
and it reflects the idea that hurt people tend to hurt others. Marcus Aurelius offered insight into this by encouraging self-reflection. When you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, none of them can harm me. No one can implicate me in ugliness, nor can I feel angry at my relative or hate him. He believed that people are born to collaborate, like the various parts of the body working together. To feel anger or hatred toward another person obstructs this natural harmony. Stoics choose to rise above such negative emotions and focus on their own inner tranquility and virtue. Point 7 advises against constantly comparing yourself to others. It suggests that spending too much time speculating about other people's actions, thoughts and plans can be counterproductive and divert you from your own path. Instead, it encourages you to focus on your own inner guidance and only engage in such comparisons if it serves a common good or a meaningful purpose. In essence, it's a reminder to prioritize your own journey and not get consumed by unnecessary comparisons with others. Point 7 draws inspiration from the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius, who posed the question, why do we give more weight to others' opinions than our own? This idea encourages us to shift our focus towards personal development and cease excessive concern for the opinions and actions of others. It emphasizes the importance of valuing our own thoughts and decisions while not being overly preoccupied with external judgments or comparisons. Essentially, it's a reminder to prioritize our inner growth and self-awareness over the influence of others. If you found this useful, please leave a like to reach more people with this philosophy. If you want to follow more content, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I hope this video has been as enriching for you as it has been for me.